flights are being launched at an exponential rate. Okay. okay? So October 4th, 1957, mm -hmm. there was one satellite. Mm -hmm. October 4th, 2024, 7,000 satellites. Not all of them operational. About right. half are dead. Well, see, there's the problem. We're leaving our junk <laughs> in space. Space <laughs> junk. So that's not the only kind of space junk. Was it 2009? There were two satellites that actually hit each other. Oh. Yes. I did not know that. That actually happened. Okay. Now, consider, if all satellites are going in the same direction, most, most. are going west to east around the Earth. Okay. Then they're not really... In as and much risk of right. hitting each other because they all have to go about the same speed to what? maintain that orbit. I but, think you just made it a solution. However, not all satellites are launched at the same latitude. If uh, you're launched at a higher latitude, I see. you still have to orbit the center of the Earth, which right. means you cut diagonally right. at some angle across the orbits of other satellites. Now, that makes sense. And some satellites orbit pole to pole. Right. Those tend to be... Uh, reconnaissance satellites, because you go on the other side, peek what's going on, and bring come picture, back around, come back around and send the data back. Okay. Okay. All right. And there's some satellites that orbit counter to the others. So yes, it is a dangerous racetrack. So we need basically traffic lights in space. Yes. I, yes. Or some other traffic controlling phenomenon. Oh. Right. Now some satellites that are precious, they have certain extra fuel. If they know they're on a collision course, they can just adjust okay. and get out of harm's way. Now that then that can't just be a requirement for all <laughs> <No>. satellites. <laughs> it's not quite there yet. Okay. All right. So in the early days, no one was taking it seriously. They knew it was an interesting extrapolation. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about it yet. Right. Okay? No, yeah. All right. So guess who was the first one to take out their own satellite? America did it. Well, you, we are number one. <laughs> if you can show you can take out your own satellite. Right. That means. Right. That means what? That means you can take out my satellite. Exactly. Right. NASA, upon learning of this anti-satellite test right. in 1985, is actively designing the forthcoming space station. And it considered how it might alter that design to make it resistant, resistant. to debris that it might encounter. Okay. And to this day, you can find pockmarks on the outer shell. So that's in the 1980s. Right. Before China had anything space-related. Right. Okay, so China's not even a player yet. Wow. 